Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'd like to give you my top three list for Android emulators for the PC. Um, starting with CoPlayer. So, CoPlayer I was originally introduced to when I was trying to get Pokemon Go to work uh, sometime late last year, I think. And CoPlayer has turned out to be very solid for playing games. You can see by their website that that's basically what they focus on having things like streamlined controls, uh, and when you actually do open up the game, like let's say Pokemon Go for instance, uh, the frame rate, the uh, ability for it to just play smoothly was quite nice. So if you're looking for an emulator that can play games well, CoPlayer is actually a pretty good choice to go ahead and check out. So number two is going to be AMIDUOS. It's by American Megatrends, which I remember most for actually uh, designing the motherboards of some of my earlier computers in like the early to mid 2000s, or maybe late 2000s. Um, and AMIDUOS, what I would say about it is that it runs very fast and that when you do install it, it doesn't have much, if any, extra clutterware. They're trying to be very professional about it. It's, uh, I mean, American Megatrends, it's a corporation you've actually heard of before the last five years, or maybe just me. Um, but basically, they've got a very uh, clean interface. It focuses on performance. It can play games. Uh, the only real downside here is that uh, to get the a permanent version, uh, you basically, it's a $10, $15 upgrade which I think for many people would be worth it because that allows you to play all of your Android stuff on the computer. Um, but for 30 days, you can get a free trial, and I think that's quite solid. I would definitely give it a try because it does run fast and has a lot of compatibility going on. And then uh, the latest to today, I was introduced and started trying out this Nox app player. Um, which seems to be very solid, kind of in a way similar to BlueStacks, and that it has uh, extra features that are gaming specific, like uh, the ability to do screen recording. It's somewhere here. Da, 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 da. Screen capture. Yeah, I think that's the one. And you can drag and drop APK straight into it. Uh, seems to be pretty solid for games. And uh, being a free one, it does have ads in a sense. So, like, if you go into the browser, um, Basically, the home page for the browser is set to a, a specific Knox Player Google search, which will show an ad or two. But beyond that, um, it really just gives you a pretty clean, open interface. And I think that puts it above other ones like BlueStacks, which are always kind of in your face about how you need to upgrade or download apps in order to keep using it. And that's just really, really annoying. So we can go ahead and open up games like Evo Creo here, and if I can exit the menu, uh, you can see, uh, yeah, that's right, left, right. It basically runs just fine, uh, exactly as it would on the Android device. No real lag there. And yeah, should be pretty good for playing games as well. So that's going to be it for my current top three list of Android emulators for your Windows PC. If you have any other suggestions, uh, add them down below. I know that a lot of these companies are coming out with new ones all the time, so every time I check, it seems like a couple new ones have come out. Uh, if you think one's better, go ahead, leave it down in the comments below. I've been Chris, though, and I will see you guys in my future video content.